Welcome back to Jack Watley Discus. I'm Gabe Posada. Today, we're gonna cover two Ultim shipments in a row that came in, so you guys can see the procedures that we go through in order to receive them. Okay, in this video, we're gonna show you how we unbox uh, and acclimate our uh, Altums when they come in. This is not like the wild discus where we know what the pH is exactly and the conductivity. Here that we get them from two different rivers and the pH fluctuates like crazy. So we have to drip them and uh, we're gonna show you how uh, we place, we use the actual styrofoam boxes. Uh, we unbag them, we put them in and uh, we slowly drip through airline tubing at the same time, we have a bubbler going because there's just not enough flow in that uh, small drip to create oxygen. So we wanna make sure they don't suffocate after we take the oxygen out of the bags. And uh, <clears throat> basically we add a little bit of acroflavin just to kill whatever bacteria is developing inside the bags as they get transported. Afterwards, we uh, place them in the tanks and uh, that's when we do the uh, heavy antibiotics and anti-deworming that usually takes place for about two weeks. In other words, uh, these Altums will not leave the hatchery until we feel comfortable enough that you're gonna be able to keep them alive. Um, and uh, now you're gonna see <clears throat> what they look like once we place them in the tanks. And uh, this is actually footage from the day after they arrived. And I'm gonna try to zoom in. I don't wanna get too close to them because they do spook right now. But you can see how inquisitive they are and how they're all looking for food everywhere they can. After all, these guys are predators and uh, that's what predators do. Um, here's a couple of bigger ones. These are from the Atabapo region, okay? And they are starting to come in a little bit bigger. These guys tip to tip are around between four and six inches, okay? There's the other half. Now, they love the darkness. I'm sure that you guys noticed there was a box that the lid fell over and uh, they were all hiding underneath the shadow. Uh, that's normal for them. They find uh, absolute comfort in the darkness. Um, these I try not to bring in too much, but these are full-grown Altums. Uh, I didn't order them, but they sent them to me anyway. That's just the way the ball bounces. These guys are between 14 and 16, 16 inches. These guys dwarf my three-year-olds that are in the display tank. They are absolutely humongous and stunning. I'm hoping and praying that everything I've learned can keep these guys alive. I would hate to lose these regal monsters. And you can see how huge they are. I mean, that guy there alone is probably a good 18 inches. Um, they are magnificent without a doubt, and I know that's why you guys are into them. And then these guys are in the six to eight inch size. As you can see, they're also very inquisitive. They came in with very good color. Um, this has to be one of the best shipments that I've ever received of these Altums. Um, here's some of the last remnants of Orinoco's that are coming in and you guys can see the spiky uh, fins uh, versus the Atabapos which have veils. And that's usually the number one question I get is, Gabe, what's the difference between the Orinoco and the Atabapos? Besides the river, um, the Orinoco ones have much thinner fins, whereas the Atabapos have the wider veils and you can see them there. They're like a maroonish color, okay? Um, and uh, that's the major difference. Other than that, they're both Altums, they're both humongous. Um, they're both regal. And uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, uh, they've caught my eye for many, many years now. And the fact that they get so big is the primary reason why I love them. And, and that and because they absolutely are as timid as discus. They're not as aggressive as the hybrids. And so we can keep these guys together with the discus and they actually get along perfectly. And anybody who has that combination will tell you there, there's absolute harmony. 
okay? So uh, we hope that this video uh, brings you guys to light as to what we have to do to get them safely to you. And also, uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as I'm enjoying making it for you. Once again, thank you for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Please make sure to subscribe so you can get all the YouTube videos that we're posting lately, now more than ever. Um, we're also on Instagram, uh, we're on Facebook, so make sure to check us all out. And uh, if you got any questions that we didn't cover on this uh, video, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks.